Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. Last night, the Toledo men ended their regular season with a win over Ball State right here at Savage Arena. The Rockets will be the number one seed in the MAC tournament. As for the BG men, they will be the sixth seed and take on Akron Thursday night. All right, a busy day of high school basketball, so let's get that action started. We are going to start with the Division One Girls Regional over in Sandusky. Notre Dame looking for another trip to the state final four, taking on Olmstead Falls. First half, Eagles get after it quick. Grace Van Sloot in the drive, a tough finish in the paint. She is just too much to handle down low. And then later, Allie Ray gets it into the corner for a wide open Olivia Sims. She lets it fly and gets the deep ball to go. And Van Sluten would be too much for Olmstead Falls. She drives, spins, and pulls up from the key, knocks that down. She led the way with 24 points. Notre Dame goes on to win 67-40, and they are headed to Dayton for the state final four. It never gets old. It's always fun, even though it's a different group of teammates. We all have great chemistry. We love each other on and off the court. It's always a great time. They have a chance to, to, to get back to that stage and, and play for um, for some seniors that graduated last year and we couldn't, they couldn't play on that stage um, is tremendous. And that's something our kids have talked about all year and if they were very close to that group of seniors, so we're proud to represent them come, come Friday night. Now to the Division Three Girls Regional Final. Ottawa Glandorf taking on Afrocentric. First quarter, Kelsey Eckford gets it down low to Aaron Kaufman. She lays it up and in, and this would tie the game up early. Then in the final minute of the first, Eckford gives it to Chloe Glenn for the layup. And right before the buzzer, Eckford gives it to Glenn again. They never look back from there. Ottawa Glandorf is heading to the state final four with a 38-30 win. And in the boys' Division I district final from Lake Northview taking on Lima Senior. Early in the second quarter, Wildcats trailing Grant Copan up ahead to Justin Noe. That bucket cut the deficit to nine. Then in the third quarter, Casey Hunt drives the lane. The fingertip roll off glass gave Northview a one-point lead. And Hunt led the Wildcats with 23 points. And with seconds left in the third quarter, Sean Craig fights for his rebound, gets the put back. He had 17 points. That tied it at 50 heading into the fourth quarter. But in the final minutes, Lima Senior was just too tough. And Northview falls 73-67. Just we, we've got a lot coming back. We've got a lot to be proud of. We played 19 games in 42 days. These guys got through it with 21 wins. Uh, couldn't be more proud of them. We've got six juniors on the team that are all candidates for National Honor Society. Our senior class has been incredible. They've won four sectional titles, back-to-back uh, -back appearances in the district final. There's a lot to be proud of. That's a heck of a basketball club that beat us, uh, and we were there. We were right there with them. Now to the Division II Boys District Final at Lake. Central Catholic beat Rossford to get here. They're taking on Columbian tonight. Irish would come out of the gates firing. They get it over to Chico Johnson. He connects on the three. He had a team-high 16 points. The Irish took a six-point lead into the break. But in the fourth quarter, the Tornadoes would make their run. L.J. Reeves gets the steal, takes it to the other end. That would cut the deficit to two. But just too much Central Catholic. Johnson, the feed inside to Sam Lee. He gets it to go, and Central Catholic hangs on to win 55-49. They are moving on to the regionals. It well, means a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm just happy for our kids. Uh, <laughs> they could have quit very easily. You know, you're 4-11 coming into the tournament. You're on a four-game losing streak. You lose Mike Greenlee to the transfer rules. Javon goes down in a practice. And our guys just kept competing and kept fighting. Um, you know, so I'm just proud of their resolve and, and how they compete and just excited for them. And the Division Three District Final from Central Catholic. Archbold taking on Cardinal Stritch and Stritch made a run late in the second quarter. Romel Hightower hard to the rack, gets the foul and the bucket. He had 15. Stritch up five at the break. Third quarter, Blue Streaks kept fighting. First kick out to Alex Roth on the wing. He splashes down the three ball. He had 13 for Archbold. Then it's DJ Newman. Get it to him at the free throw line and he knocks down the jumper. He had a game high 17. Archbold wins 59-56 and they are headed to the regional. About two thirds of the way through the season, we really start kicking it in. And then we played our best basketball of the year that last game at Wauseon in the regular season. So it's a special group. They've won a lot of games the whole way. And I'm just glad that we get to come back and practice and play at least one more game next week. It's amazing. We knew Cardinal Stretch was a great team when we just came out on top. We executed well. The coaches had a great game plan. We just knew we had to be calm. We had the lead at one point. They had a run. We had a run. And we just came, we just came out on top. I know all the Archer people at home that couldn't come to this game are loving it. And people here are loving it too. So it's great. To the D3 boys district final between Ottawa Glandorf and Wayne Trace. 
for OG. Caleb Coleman in the corner. He buries the three, and that gave the Titans an 11-point lead. Less than a minute later, Carter Schimmler. The no-look pass to Brennan Blevins in the same spot. Same result, OG with a big lead at half, and they would hold Wayne Trace without a field goal for nearly two full quarters. The Titans roll tonight. 58-26 the final. Also over at Perrysburg, the Division I District Wrestling Tournament, the 170 weight class championship. North U's Connor Lieber going for a district title. He fought hard all the way until the end, but came up just short of the title. But Connor and his little brother Andrew did qualify for states. In the 195 weight class, Perrysburg's Ryan Musgroves winning the district title to advance to states. He is one of eight Yellow Jackets who will be down in Columbus. What's left is I want to place. I want to place as high as I can. I want to see all our team place because we got eight, placer, uh, eight kids going to state this year. And finally, in the 285 weight class, Fremont's Ethan Green made it look easy getting the pin here to win the district and remain undefeated. And he is feeling the love from the whole Fremont community. It's so exciting. Um, I know everybody in, the, everybody in school and my community has been giving Wish me the best of luck from weeks before this. So, I mean, it's, it's just the best feeling in the world. The Toledo women wrapping up their season today at Savage Arena against Eastern Michigan. First quarter, a bit of a slow start. Sammy McConowitz with it. She drives to the basket, gets it to go with the left hand off glass. She finished with 10 points. And then in the third quarter now, Rockets up eight, and they add to it. Sophia wired with it. She drives straight down the middle and flips it up with the left for the tough bucket. She had 13. Eastern would come back to take the lead, but too much Quinesha Lockett. Kira Goss finds her in the corner, and she buries the three for her game-high 22 points. Toledo ends their season with a win, 59-55. The BG women are the number one seed in the MAC tournament. They wrapped up their regular season with Buffalo at the Stro today. Falcons were down 20 at one point, but they're on the comeback trail here in the fourth quarter. Katie Hempfling from the top of the key. She knocks down the three ball. That cuts the deficit to seven. And then a little bit later, Claire Gloniak finds a cutting Hempfling. She lays it up and in. BG would take the lead. But this one would need overtime. And in the extra session, a turnover with under 30 seconds to go. Buffalo takes advantage. They take the lead. And the Falcons fall to the Bulls, 69-68. So the BG women will be the number one seed in the MAC tournament, and their first game is Wednesday at 11 a.m. That'll do it for sports.